An unmatched pair of metal sculptures from the 1970s has been installed in front of the Christian A. Johnson Memorial Building on Chateau Road, north of Route 125. George Rickey's two open rectangles, eccentric, variation six, made of welded stainless steel, dates from 1976, and was the first work of public sculpture installed on the Middlebury campus to the southwest of the Johnson Building. The Friends of Art Acquisition Fund and a matching grant from the National Endowment for the Arts made its purchase possible. On the northwest side, we encountered Jules Olitsky's King Kong of 1973, made of Corten steel, the gift of Sophia Healy, daughter of Arthur K.D. Healy, pioneer of the study of art and art history at the college. Ricky was one of the greatest and most innovative practitioners of kinetic sculpture, a poet of movement in three dimensions. Unlike the pioneers of moving sculpture in the second and third decades of the 20th century, Ricky did not incorporate motors or mechanical devices to create movement. Like Alexander Calder, inventor of mobiles, he relied on surrounding air currents to propel them. His spare geometries integrate with superbly crafted and imaginatively conceived forms. Burnished stainless steel was Ricky's preferred material. Light reflecting from its surfaces has further dematerializing effect on sculptures that already seem ephemeral because of their movement. Middlebury's Ricky keeps the viewer in a state of constant suspense. Its movements are highly circumscribed, but they vary considerably, depending on the amount and character of wind on a given day. When they move, the identical rectangles create the impression that they interpenetrate, even though they do not, and that they will collide, even though they cannot. Watching them move with indifferent randomness, we delight in their highly choreographed but predetermined trajectories. In the process of animating their immediate environments, Ricky's sculptures celebrate pure and abstract movement, detached from any narrative or anthropomorphic reference. Olitsky is better known as a painter, but his forays into the realm of sculpture also elicited considerable admiration. The monochromatic sheen of Corten's steel matches the voluptuousness of his color field paintings. Olitsky's combinations of forms, along with his titles, are highly suggestive. King Kong is the single most famous simian protagonist of all time and at first we might wonder how his name became aligned with this abstract sculpture. King Kong consists of two circular, concentric rings, the smaller contained and partly hidden within the larger. Olitsky altered the outer ring by cutting into and puncturing its surface, leaving behind negative imprints that vary in size from quite large to almost invisible, openings that partially reveal the inner ring. Four crude gashes into the upper bounding periphery suggest both a primitive crown worthy of the eponymous king and gouges ripped from the surface by an enraged ape. These may or may not be intended clues, but there is no insistence that we read them as such. The title suggests a light-hearted intention congruent with the juxtapositions of exaggeratedly large and small units with manifest and hidden forms.